everybody. You want to take an old envelope, masterboard it, and turn it into something cool? I don't know. Are you, are you like me and maybe you're the kid who has more fun playing with the box? You know what I mean? So somebody sent me this wonderful envelope. Um, they mailed some goodies, and I'm very appreciative. Thank you so much. Um, and I was a little rough opening it, but I just... Couldn't, I couldn't throw it out. I saw grand potential in it, and I have a little idea. So let's see if we can make some fun with this. So I thought well, this is a great time to use up some scraps, play with some stuff, have some fun, and make something cool. So I'm going to orient this like this. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to make a little pouch for some ephemera that I can combine with a journal so that somebody has something to play with because it's nice to have things to play with. And uh, so I have some pieces of, let's see, what have I got here? I've got some old washi tape. I'm trying to pull out stuff that I don't normally play with. So like here's some old pieces of ledger that I have. I could put that down as a basement, maybe over here. Maybe, maybe, yeah. And um, let's, let's just try that. Let's get a base down and we'll go from there. So basically my concept is using this as a blank slate and then knowing that I'm going to be doing some cutting to it and things like that. So that's what I'm calling a master board. Yep. <laughs> okay. Um, it's kind of fun and it gives you a lot of freedom with what you're doing. Let's see. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Maybe there, huh? Maybe I'll just use it right from the bottom. I don't even mind if a little bit of this um, golden shows through because I think it looks kind of cool. You know what I mean? It's kind of cool. Yeah. Okay. So let's just try this. This is Scott Create Glue Stick, permanent glue stick, if anybody's wondering. Um, it's my favorite glue stick, if you haven't heard me say that a million times. Um, not sponsored, just like the glue. <laughs> and uh, just having fun here. Yep, tried a million glue sticks. Yep, like this one. Okay, everybody's different. Got to find your own glue, favorite glue stick. Um, oh, there was a question I wanted to ask everybody. What was it? Oh, dag nabbit, I forgot what it was. I was gonna... I was going to ask you all because I just, I'll think of it. It'll come. It'll come. Just let it go, Pam. Let the universe have it. Okay. Bye. <laughs> bye. Now, what are these? Do these come off individually or is this one big thing? I think it's one big thing. All right. Let's start with a straight edge, Pam. That would be good. Okay. This is going to be interesting because I must have, yes, I see the separation. No, wait, maybe I shouldn't cut it straight because I can see the edge. See this? Where the sticker part of it comes apart. And if I was wise, I would use that to my advantage now. I can get it apart, which is always the grand thing of it all. You know what I mean? Here we go. And we're, oh yeah, oh yeah, now we're talking. Okay, okay, it's good. I'll, I'm just going to go over. That's what I'm, gonna, I'm just going to go over. Um, all right, let's just get enough. Let's get enough. Put it on there. That was kind of cool. Okay. Let's do that. Let's do that. This is fun. Oh, we're playing with stuff we haven't played with in a long time. Um, I'm sometimes out of quandary with what to do with these bigger, oh, you're too close, bigger washi tape rolls. They're just uh, ginormous sometimes, but they're so pretty. Um, but they're a little trickier to work with. Okay, here we go. Now, my, my great plan of it all was this, and I have this. Let's see. I could do the wraparound. I could do the wraparound. Oh, then maybe I want to turn it like this, though. No, no, we're going to go like this. So many decisions in life. What am I going to do? I think I'm going to leave a little border. I do. I think I'm going to let it show that there are stamps I, in Oklahoma City. See, we can see that. That's kind of cool. Should I do a wraparound? Yeah, why not? Maybe I'll decorate the back, too. Okay. Okay, I'll do that. Okay, so now I, I, I do have to do something with that, and I'm going to use that, what I'm going to call as extras. I'm going to bring them around. And put them on the back. Now, I didn't do extra glue for the washi, so I'm going to have to uh, test to see if it's going to fail me now. You know what I mean? Fail me now. Don't fail me now. Um, but what I do want to do is I want to cut a big thumb hole in here. And this is a mm, the right measurement. This is a big, well, who makes this? Marvi Uchida. Marvi Uchida. I think that's how you say it. Um, I think it's three inch. Let's see. Two and a half maybe? Three inch. Three inch circle punch. Okay. It's a big mambo. Um, but I'm hoping I can cut through the washi tape. Let's see. Because washi tape is waxy and it might not be happy. It might be a complete disaster. Let's see what happens. Okay. 
Am I in the middle? Not exactly. Okay, ready? Ready? No, no, not you, not yet. Oh, don't move. Oh, it went through. Yes, we are good. We are good. Okay, so now Mama's got her big thumb hole. <laughs> she does. And uh, okay, so we have a little something we should probably repair there. Oh, I have this and I have this. So what am I going to do with that? Can I fill, Can I just fill that in? Can I glue it on the back? I have to do something here. Uh, I think I want to do a wraparound of some type. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling a wraparound. Feeling the wraparound. Oh, I see something about a funeral here. Can you see that? Let me zoom in. Where was it? There. Or funeral dues. Weekly or funeral dues. Dues? Have paid in full. Hmm. Well, you know, when you got to get your funeral dues paid or there's going to be heck to pay. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? It's going to not be good. Not, not pretty. No, not pretty. Um, I do have this, but let me see. Maybe I'm going to put this on the bottom here. I have this. Coming up the side. I come up the side. I could glue a bunch of stuff on the back. I could. I could just glue stuff. I have this letter. Part of a letter. That would be very pretty on the back, wouldn't it? Oh, that would be very nice. Because I could put the letter inside. Oh, what to do? Gall darn it. Here, I've got some dictionary pages. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Eh? No, nope, not liking the color. I want something creamy. Something creamy. What do we got? What's sitting around here? Uh, like a thousand things. Okay, I'm reaching into the the tickle trunk, which if you used to watch Mr. Dress Up, you'll know that's this magic place where you used to pull out cool stuff. How about that? That's pretty cool. Although, I, you know, I like I like the color there. I do. Maybe I just want to put a sticker or something there. Or um, a ticket? Maybe a ticket. Nope. Hang on. Okay. Apparently I went shopping. And I got a bunch of this stuff, and I think it's pretty cool. So I think I'm going to put something there. Maybe, maybe something here. Maybe one of those birds. That might look cool. Or the butterfly. Could put one of these butterflies. That would look, yeah. Okay, that looks nice. Maybe the orange one. Okay. No, you got to cut these. Nobody helps you with that. No, they said you're going to cut these on your own. Okay, I'm going to cut them on my own. I have to find my scissors. There, I see some. I see some. Here we go, we're cutting. And then we're making a pouch to fill with fun things. Which color do I like better? I like the gray, because it's different. Is this a sticker? Nobody knows. We're gonna sit here for an hour and do this and see if anything comes apart. Oh, it's a sticker. It is a sticker. There we go. Sometimes you don't know, you know? And you can't remember what you bought. You ever have that? Yeah. It's like, I know I, got, I thought it was pretty. Why did I buy it? What was it? Because sometimes when it comes from AliExpress, it comes six weeks later and you forget. You just plain plum forget what it was because you were on to new things. Okay, it was just a butterfly peeking up. Okie dokie. There we go. Oh, but I nice little put it on straight. Too late. Um, okay, so we have that and that will stay put now. I'm feeling confident. Yes. I think I want to shave the top a little. And I think we'll decorate the back just for fun. Um, but you can use, it doesn't have to be one of these, um, is this a manila envelope? I guess we call it that, don't we? Um, what is manila? Is it a color? Is it a substance? What is it? Now, I, I, I have to know now. And, and I can't look it up because I've, I'm recording on my phone talking to you guys. Um, if anybody knows or feels like looking it up, please share it with us because thirsty minds need to know. Okay, there we go. That's very nice. <laughs> Look how nice that is already, and we've barely done anything to it. You know, I mean, it's just, it's so easy sometimes. Okay, so how about this? Well, maybe I want more of a background. Let me think background or the background. Okay. Maybe I'm going to come along with some dictionary page. That always gives us a lot of, uh, a lot of space to work with. Let's, let's just, and who doesn't love, I don't know if you can see that, but it says the word marmot. Aren't marmots the cutest darn little things? I think they're, if I'm picturing it right, there's a famous picture of one, a guy holding his finger up and the little marmot tail and the marmot is like clasping on and the little marmot has giant eyes and it's looking at you and it's just so darn cute. And uh, so we'll, we'll save that little marmot word for some, maybe he'll go in the journal. Um, isn't, you know, falling in love with words and language and um, 
the way things flow together and uh, seeing it on paper in different font and different text. And it was just kind of fun. I, I don't know why. I, I really don't know why. It just, I don't know, takes, takes us to another world sometimes where we get to play and just think about fun stuff when there's nothing wrong with that. Okay, let's figure out exactly what we're doing here. Oh, this is a very sharp light. You need to put that away. Okay. Put this down, and then I'm going to make my little mark. This is called the easy way to do this. Actually, this is the easiest way to do it. You don't even lift it up. Let me make sure you can see what I'm doing. Okay. Um, put it exactly where I want to. See how I have the little border of the gold there? What's going on? Something happened. I don't know. All right. Weird phone thing. Um, I'm peeking, looking, aligning, peeking. I can't see it now. No, I got to come back in. Okay. Am I good? I got a little bit. I got a little bit. Okay. Now I'm going to tear. Hopefully this will work. I don't have to measure. I don't have to uh, cut. Hold in place. Hold in place. Turn. Keep everybody in same position. Do the same thing. Peek. Maybe quarter inch up. You can do half inch. Totally your choice. There. Good. It fits. It should fit exactly. Now, I think I am going to ink this a little bit. Oh, I got my, my water squirter here, right? Perfect. Perfect. Because it's been since yesterday. And uh, here we go. Moisty, moist, moist. <laughs> Some people don't like that word or saying that word. I have no idea. Yeah, moist, moist. You know what it makes me think of? Moist brownies. And, and who doesn't like a good moist brownie? You know what I mean? Um, not with the nuts. Not a big fan of the nuts and the brownie. I don't know why. I just don't get between me and my moistness <laughs> of my brownie. I like it. I like it as it is. It makes me feel good. It makes me feel, it's, it's like such comfort food. Oh, my God. And um, our little grocery store makes the best brownies. Da danger. Dangereux. Dangereux. Yeah, I can whip the French out when I have to, okay? I was born in Canada. I picked up a few words every now and then. Dated two French guys. Okay? Okay? So there you go. <laughs> you know who you are. Do not leave any comments. <laughs> uh, they'd probably think I was nuts today anyway. So here you go. Um, all right. So we're putting that down. A nice background. How easy is that? Dictionary pages. Oh, you know what it is? Um, they're beautiful. They're thin. They're easy to work with. They don't bulk up your junk journal. Um, they're interesting. They're already decorated for you. They feel great. They have an awesome crinkle factor. You can get them in big and small. See, here's some smalls. If you want to work with smalls, you can get smalls and um, bigs. And uh, oh, speaking of the smalls and the bigs, I do try and put a variety of sizes in my fundals. And if you have not heard, you will ad nauseum hear from me through September. This entire September, I'm offering the Fundle free gift with purchase. You get a free digital digiket printed out for you. No code, no coupon needed if you buy a Fundle in my um, Etsy shop, which is a collection of very old and interesting papers like this and like um, uh, antique ledger and stuff like that. And you can... Um, uh, get that for any if you buy one in September there we go there it was all right this is cool on the back isn't that neat that's really neat so this is something that I would add with a junk journal like let's say this little guy I made a while ago and I really like him um I almost kept him I almost kept him because I liked him so much he was just a nice easy comfortable size full of pages so much fun to be had you know what I mean so much fun to be had in here that has not happened yet. But I thought if I stuffed this and then married it with that, that would be a nice gift. Um, or maybe I will put that for sale in my Etsy shop. We shall see. We shall see. Keep your eye on the Etsy shop. You just never know what's coming. Okay, get some more ink going here. We need more ink. And let's, yeah, let's let's ink the thumb hole. Because thumb holes, to me, they you want them look like they've been used. You know what I mean? Like somebody came and thumbed it. And, uh... That way it looks vintage and grungy and, oh, I'm just going to go all the way around the block. Why not? Okay. We're going around the mountain, going around the mountain. And this just makes all the pretty pictures and everything. Like, look how fast I got decorated. It was like two seconds. Two seconds. Okay. Can't see. A little bit of word, a little bit of picture, a little bit of intrigue on the back. What's that? Oh, let's look up a... Uh, 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 
marriageability, the state of being marriageable. There you go. Anybody feeling marriageable? <laughs> That's kind of funny. Um, yeah, so we can have a lot of fun with this. We can play with the inks, the porous paper of the manila envelope. Still really want to know what that is, by the way. I know it's a place. I know it's a place in the Philippines, but that's not where, or maybe that's where those originally came from. Okay, it could be. The famous manila envelopes came from Manila. Um, I think it's spelled the same way. Okay, now oh, we inked around that, so maybe we won't ink the outside of that. That's okay. Uh, I think I want to do a little green in there too. Where's my little green dauber? Probably back in the dauber drawer. Let's see. Are you here? Yep, right here. At the ready. Let's do this. Okay. Um, oh, we could do some, like, oh, that would be kind of cool. Uh, okay, let's try. Um, I just have this random piece here. It's just being a piece of something. It really has no claim in life to, you know, wasn't going to college or anything, but I think we can give it a new destiny. And it's kind of fun to use up the little things on your desk if you find that you, um, uh, collect little piles, yes, little um, mini hordes of paper that are on your desk. Um, use them up, use them up, grab them, pick them up, look at them with new eyes. Everything is about perspective. And just say, hey, maybe maybe there's a sharp uh, border line here. And not that there's anything wrong with that sharp border line here, uh, but I just thought, wouldn't it be fun just to come along and maybe glue something down like that? That might be fun, yeah. And we're using this. You could also take a Stabilo pencil and, and amplify that, that line there. That would be cool. I don't really know how far I'm supposed to. I'm just going to ink the whole thing. Okay. And get, yes, again, she leaves her, her glue stick unprotected, unprotected. Uh-huh. You can be gentle with this because it's this a thin page. I think it's from the dictionary page. So it's very, very thin, wispy. Um, there we go. Those dictionary pages can be really thin. You know how we're all worried about something that's going to rip or tear out of our junk journals? Have you touched a dictionary page? Oh my gosh, it's just like, it's thinner than Kleenex. Yeah, thinner than Kleenex, I tell you. Maybe I'll wrap around this way. That would be kind of cool. Okay, there we go. Why not, right? Yeah. Okay, so now we got that. That's kind of cool. Yeah. Maybe I want it to be a little more brown. So you can, you can come back in later in the end, even though you've already glued it and you did that, you know, you can, you can give it some emphasis and make it pop a little bit more if you want to do that. So there I am. I'm, I'm popping. I'm popping. That's cool, isn't it? Yeah, I like that already. Um, what could we do? On, maybe we put a pocket on the back. Let's do that. Let's just do it. Let's just do it. Okay. Um, let's just find something fun. We've got a lot of funsies over here. What do we got? I've got, this is an, a postcard. I think it's supposed to look like a vintage postcard, or it is. There's an actual, I don't know if you can see this, but there's a, um, there. It's an imprint, like it's been stamped into that. I don't know if this is old or not, but maybe we'll use it as a, oh, she looks, she means business. Okay, no, no, hey, so she's like, hey, hey, somebody get me out of here, help. I, I don't wanna, I don't wanna do this. Okay, you, you could be a nice pocket though. I, I think I like something wider, I'm sorry. We'll find something. It's okay. It's all right. Um, oh, we have one of these. Yep, we do. We have one of those. That would be fun to put on the back. Remember this? We took a big circle and did a really cool zip zip kit cut. Let's do that. Maybe we'll put a little more ink. I think this is actually somebody gifted this to me. They showed me that they were making them and they sent me one. And I'm so excited because now I get to use it. See, I do use your stuff in active things. And um, it's, it's fun. It's just fun. I don't know. I'm just I'm, I'm outlining these. I don't know why. I just am. I'm, I'm here and I'm playing and you're here and I'm hoping you're playing too. Um, or you're just, maybe you're like eating lunch and that's okay. I take no offense. No, it's perfectly all right. Now I think that pops against there very nicely. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so let's glue that down. And this is such a little easy thing to do. Another little companion for your junk journal. Um, just something fun to add, something fun to stuff, and uh, just having a grand old time with it. All right, here we go. That's a good glue-a-rama there. I hope this is recording. Yes, it is, okay. And yeah, the pop see the white pop. See, sometimes it's nice to use white. I know we're all 
aghast at the white of um, the blank page. But you know, sometimes against the right background, the white will, it will serve you well. Okay, so let's maybe put a rubber stamp or something. I'm just going in for a random, just seeing what I have. Okay, I have this. This is a big, you're so far away, come closer. I have a big flower and I think I'm just going to put it right there. Got to find the black. There it is, using black soot. Oh, the green, if you were wondering, was peeled paint. And the brown was vintage photo. Okay, there we go. And uh, why? Because I get questions. Yes, I get questions. So just trying to cover everybody there. Alrighty, here we go. This is my technique. I tried being nice about it and like tap, 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 no. It's not going to happen in this girl's world. She's just going in and going to town. Okay, here we go. Ready? Let's go closer. Come closer. Oh, there we go. Let's do the stamp. Now, it's probably better if you have something soft underneath. Oh, well. Oh, that's a beauty. Yeah, that came out good. Okay, I'm really happy with that. Yeah, that came out nice. Very nice. Very, very nice. And now we can load it and have some fun with that. What were you going to do with this? You gotta do something with that. We, you can't just leave that. Yes, I can. I can put it on something else. Okay. <laughs> Maybe I'll put that here. Maybe. Oh, what's that squeaky thing coming down the road? Is that a... Uh... I think I hear the garbage truck coming. I think we get the garbage truck here three days a week. He comes like one day to get the recyclable plus your regular garbage. Then a Wednesday he comes and he gets the plant stuff. And then Thursday he comes just to get the regular garbage. So you have to really know what day it is, which is not going well around here. Not going well, no. Okay, so we have a very, a very big area to stuff. And, uh, well, heck, I think this letter would go really nicely in there. I think it's going to fit perfectly. Yep, totally does. Awesome. And I'm just, I'm just going to fill it with fun things. Now you can fill it with whatever you have on hand. Um... Oh, this is a pretty envelope, isn't it? I love it. And these were scented. You can still smell it. It's like a baby powder scent. Um, it's probably a little stuck. Okay. Uh, but maybe we'll tuck something inside of it. How about a prescription from 1943? That would be fun, wouldn't it? That would shock the socks off of anybody opening that. They'll be like, oh, is it probably a photo? Maybe we'll put her in there too. Yeah. Okay. We'll give them the photo. And then we'll say, that's what happens if you... Take that medicine. Yep, that's what happens. Yep. Uh, you, they didn't smile back then. It wasn't a thing to smile in the, um, in the, you know, those days, whenever that was. Um, photos. This is cool. This is a McLaughlin's coffee. No cause for alarm because you're going to feel alarmed when you drink the coffee. Best coffee on earth, apparently. Um, has the Chicago push and gets to the right spot. Yes, yes, there you go. That's a, that's a way to sell the coffee. I think they're going a little edgy there. That might have been a little, uh, little bit much for the, the teetotalers. You know what I mean? Um, back then, okay, here's a pretty... Um, oh, that'll fit perfectly, too. This is a gothic German page. I think I'm just going to tuck that in there for something fun to do. Yeah, you can have fun stuff. Yeah, and play with it and cut it up and 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 do things. Why not? It's it's a free world. Okay, let me get some more fun things. Hold on. Okay, f I found a few four more fun things. I found um, a little handmade card that I made, a Christmas card. Uh, that's from the Christmas, one of the 2021 or 22 DigiKits. This is from a page um, probably out of a Sears and Roebuck catalog or a Montgomery Ward catalog. And I, I mounted it on black and sewed around so you could use a white gel plant pen and write on the back. That would be fun. Here is a bookmark that I made. Oh, no, this is a journal tag officially um, with a bookmark. Uh, you could use it as a bookmark, but it, is, uh, it has a writing space. So there you go. This is just a little pouch um, with um, a little simple tag on the inside. Something fun for somebody to write extra things. Right, so we're just going to tuck all these babies in there. Just And this is going to be a little... Surprise package. And it's nice because it's big, it's roomy, it's comfy. There's room to put stuff. And you could just put whatever you like. You can make things to put in here. You could take interesting book pages and put them in here. 
And you could even do a focal point on the front if you wanted to do that. But I, I think it's kind of pretty. I think I may even put a word here, just like a, a bold word that might, might. Okay, here's the word. This is what we want. This is it. Here's the word. Yeah. I bought these used on eBay. Word stamp. Rubber word stamp. And I just looked for days until I found some cool ones that somebody was letting go. Could have been Etsy. I hate to say it. Could have been Etsy for these. I don't remember. But that's a great way to find these. I have no idea who... Well, do I know who makes these? What does that say? Amy... Yeah, there you go. Oh, right to about... Stampotique Originals. There you go. There, maybe you can find them. Okay. Um, but I, I don't know, honestly. Um, where's my black? Every color but the black. Okay. Two pinks. Green. Brown. Looking. Looking. Blue. I found blue. Okay, there's the black. You know what it is? Is the black disappears into my craft mat, so it, it gets hidden very easily. It could happen to anybody. All right? It could. <laughs> it just does a lot around here. Okay. Same technique. Improper grinding of the ink pad. A couple extra slaps for good measure. All right, here we go. Probably should have done it when it was flat. Didn't do that. Okay, let's zoom in so we can really see what's going to happen. Ready, hope, quit. Yeah! It worked. <laughs> okay, that is a good thing. And, uh, oh wait, I just, oh, I just, it's so easy, you know what I mean? It's just, I, I, I just loved working with that envelope. It just brought such great joy. All right, I'm going to pull the stickles out. I can't stop myself. I'm rolling back and I'm getting them. I can feel it. I, I know when it's coming. Do you know when it's coming? Can you tell? Can you tell? Yeah, I know what you were saying. You were saying, that's really pretty, but if you just added some stickles, it could really set it off. Okay, that's what we're going to do. We're going to zoom in a little bit. What's going on? No. Oh. There we go. Okay, maybe a little small, a little small. Okay, there we go. Okay, zoom. All right, let's, uh, I think copper. I think we're calling for copper. This is Nuvo Drops, Nuvo Crystal Drops in Copper Penny. Okay, I think it's Copper Penny, yeah? Okay. Okay, here we go. Oh, I want to do something with the, the oh, I okay. Oh, don't squirt at me. Don't you be squirting at me. It squirted at me. Down up, down up, okay? Just kind of follow the natural curve of the leaf. Yeah, okay. Dun, dun, dun. I hope this is following, following where I think it's supposed to go. Have no real idea, but just guessing here. There we go. Okay, and maybe boom. Just do some of these to give a little accent to accent. Is it Okay, I'm going to whip out some more French here. Accent, accent aigu or accent grave? Or is it accent grave? I don't remember. But one, one made, it was a difference. Something with the sound. Made things sound different. Can't really remember. Um, you know, still able to successfully order recognizable food in... Um, Paris when we were there for our honeymoon. Um, but not much farther than that. Okay, and exit, you know, I could find that. Um, what else? Bathroom, got that covered. You learn that one real fast, you know what I mean? It's like in seconds, you're like, okay, that's what bathroom looks like in this country. Um, yeah, that's mandatory uh, if you travel. And uh, it goes without explanation. There, it's looking very nice. You want more? Okay, oh, just do more, okay. Um, I'm just playing at this point, and this is like the, the super fun part for me. I just love like dolling it up. I don't know. It's kind of fun. Uh, let's doll it up. And these little things, they go forever. And this Nuvo one is like, here, compare the size. That's the difference. So compare your prices, but this one's big. And I don't think it's that much more, or they're close to the I forget the prices, but um, um, yeah. Okay, here we go. There we go. All right. Oh, yeah, I see where it's missing. Okay, I know. I, I heard you across the top. Now, this is the tricky part. You don't want to accidentally touch it. We want to set it aside to dry. Oh, this is so fancy. Okay, there we go. 
Oh, timer up, dismiss. Oh, I'm supposed to meet somebody for lunch, so I guess we're going to wrap it up here. Um, and I'm pretty much done, so we're good. The only thing I have not done officially is put things in those pockets, but I can't because I can put one thing in. There we go. I can put a couple things in. Hang on. I'm not, I'm not leaving you high and dry. Nope. Ne never would do that. Nope. Nope. You guys come first. Everybody else can wait. I'm digging. I'm digging. I can't slide that in, but maybe I would put this ticket in there. But I can put this little baby ticket in here. Whoop. Yeah, that's the right way. Okay. Just, just gently, gently don't muck it up. Okay, I probably would do more than that there, but I just, I don't want to muck up the, the you know what's. But there you go, folks. Now I'm going to gingerly try and turn it over. I know you're saying don't do that, but I am to show you. And it's still relatively thin. I mean, like, look, it's not super fat, but I got a lot in there and I could stuff a lot more and I think I will. Um, so there you go. Um, don't forget, free image, free image, free DigiKit printed out for you. No codes, no um, uh, coupons required if you buy a fundle during September 2022. Um, then we have our newsletter. If you haven't signed up for that, please do because you get a free digital image and a whole bunch of other fun stuff. My videos come out Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays, 7 a.m. Eastern Time. And my podcast, they come out Tuesdays and Thursdays. New audio material. And on the other days of the week, um, if you look, watch it on Spotify, you can see video podcasts. Uh, and also, I have an Etsy shop where I sell, when I have them done, journals and bundles. I also sell um, DigiKits, which are computer files that you can um, purchase and then print at home. Or if you don't want to print... I, ha I have a print and mail service where I will print them out for you in packs of 10 digikits, which means 50 printed pages on lightweight cardstock. You pick the digikit names, you just send me the names. I only need the first two or three words to either Etsy message or, um, or it's called Etsy contact. I don't know, it depends what device you're on, but it's a way to message me. And, um, or to my email address, which is pam at the paper .com. I also sell fundals, which are collections of old and interesting papers, which I think you saw me use quite a bit up in this episode. And also, um, I have a merchandise shop. If you like the phrase create with reckless abandon or everything is a craft supply until proven otherwise, um, I will put that on a t-shirt, a sweatshirt, a zip. I will not personally put that on a t-shirt or sweatshirt, but you can get that on a t-shirt or a sweatshirt or a zipped hoodie, tote, mug, water bottle, and give that to yourself or a friend or a family member or a favorite crafter. And um, um, you can find me on Pinterest, Twitter, LinkedIn, and Facebook and Facebook group. And hello there, Mr. Fluffer Pants. Do you have something to say? I, I might. I have a pup date. I have a pup date. I have a pup date. Here, I'm coming in. I'm coming in. Yeah, okay. I'm very, I'm very, hello. Hello. Lonnie, Carol, Susan, Jesse, Amanda, Alana, Michelle. Okay, 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 I think we get it. <laughs> what are you looking through the magic mirror of Romper Room? Yeah, we're regressing a bit here. Um, just want to hope you guys are having a great time. And I really like Sweet Peas still. Yeah. And, um,. Where, where's your pup date? I thought you had a, a scripted pup date. Um, I forgot. Oh, it's okay. Uh, well, maybe you'll have it for next time. You want you to try that? Yeah. Uh, uh, give me another try. Next time I'll have more to say. Um, but I just want you to know I love you all. And um, um, my favorite toy is Lammy. Okay, that's my pup date. Love y'all. Bye. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes. All right. They, they needed to know that your favorite toy was Lammy. It is. Lammy. Yeah. We go to bed with Lammy. Yeah. It's, it's a thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, everybody. Make sure that you have fun out there. Keep creating. Keep having a blast. And create with reckless abandon. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>